Oh, Felix, there you are. Thank God. Come here quickly. Don't speak to me, you reprobate. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I apologise. I am grovelling, but I need your help. Oh, yes. I'm sure you do, because you had to stage a seance, and you had to pretend my wife was murdered, and you suddenly had... What, what the hell is that? She's dead. What's the joke? There is no joke. She's dead. <laughs> right, right. Oh, my God. Who did this? You're not going to believe it. Who? Mother. My mother did this? Not your mother, my mother. Martha? Yes. Dear sweet Martha. Now, Inspector, let's get down to business. This is more complicated than I first thought. They all have motives. What are you talking about? Get back in there. Well, surely I'm not a suspect. Of course you are. But it's my house. Oh, <laughs> what does that have to do with it? If anything, it means you're an even bigger suspect. You know the house, and you knew about the hidden room. Now that I think about it, you're even more of a suspect than I am. It happens all the time in murder mysteries. The slightly odd inspector who arrives alone in the middle of the night and pretends to sort everything out when in fact she's preparing to murder someone for some hideous crime that took place 20 years ago. Oh, nonsense. I don't see a badge. I left it at the office. A likely story. Oh, you hid a murder and you're accusing me of stories? Hmm. Aggie Wheeler, tell the truth now. Did you do it? Of course not. Where were you when it happened? I was on stage with you. And where were you when the murder took place? I was upstairs asleep. Was anybody there who can verify your story? I think Simon was, but like I said, I was asleep. Strange to be asleep at such an hour. I didn't know I was so tired, but there you are. Hmm. Now, what about you? Did you do it? Oh, please. And what about you? Were you responsible? Absolutely not. And where were you at the moment? I was in the kitchen, getting a snack. At this hour? Absolutely. Hungry? I've got low blood sugar. I needed a snack. Likely story. Hmm. Were you there the night that Noggs was killed? Yes. But there was no show on that night? I was doing background work on my article. And did you see Noggs when you arrived? Yes, I did. And later? Not later. Hmm. So you didn't witness the murder? No. And have the police been in contact with you? Why would they be? Because you were there at the time. Well, they don't know that. It's a strange coincidence, wouldn't you say? Why are you suspecting me? Well, somebody did it. It wasn't me. And where were you when Noggs was killed? Noggs was killed? Last night, the police asked me to identify the body this morning. Stage Dorman Noggs? Stage Dorman Noggs. I was... I was at a bar. Hmm. Why would anybody want to kill Noggs? Who knows, but his throat was cut from ear to ear with a razor blade. Good God. Yeah. Who'd want to do that? That's the question we are asking ourselves. Where were you? I was here with my mother, preparing for your arrival. Likely story.